Okay. Now we're recording. Okay, so total active listings is up almost 100 from last week, but it's still almost 400 down than the average. So we're still seeing that shortage of inventory. And I don't know about y'all, but I am feeling that also with my buyers. Um, let's see, new listings in the last seven days is up a good bit from last week. Last week was 175, we're at 296 right now. So I love that. And that is higher than the average also, which means hopefully some people were tired of the shortage of inventory and we're going out and getting listings. But with that being up, we have new pendings in the last seven days is down about 42 from last week. And it's still higher than the average. Total closings in the last seven days is up from 136 to 186. So we're above the average. We're about, what is that? Exactly 50 higher than last week. And so we would have seen those things that closed in the last seven days go under, you know, 30 to 60 days ago. Average days on market is down just a little to 52. And the average price is also down just a smidgen to 103, or I'm sorry, oh my gosh, I reversed that to 301. But these 300s are up. We've been in the twos pretty consistently since October. Our average price point has been in the twos and we're back up in the threes right now. Number of price reductions, look at that. We're up almost 40. It was 109 last week and we're up to 148. Now the average is 201. So we're still down, but that is higher. Sales price to list price ratio. Look at that, just keeps creeping back up. We're at 99.02%. So when we saw that dip where we got lower than 94%, um, a little while ago, I was doing pockets of areas and finding neighborhoods that were you know selling for higher than the county average and making that you know a talking point to those particular areas that I was farming but we're back up to the 99 percent so that's interesting also that goes to that you know buyer's demand number of expires since last week is up eight we're at 58 in new agents we are at 8680, which is up from last week also. And our interest rate is also up from last week. We were at 6.75 last week. We're at 7% this week. So interesting numbers. Everything's kind of going up, except for the new pendings that went down. And average days on market went down. Any thoughts? What do y'all thinking or feeling out there working with your clients? Do these numbers reflect what you're feeling or what your clients are going through? Anyone? No, I didn't think so. Question. Yes. So what makes the average price go up? Is it like where we're seeing more sales in particular parts of the area or what? Yeah, so since this is Allegheny County single family, if you get, you know, a million dollar listing over in Squirrel Hill that sells, that messes up the app or that changes the average price, right? Um, so that, you know, can definitely be reflected. And I think we, there were some times, well, you know, back in September it was 320 and then it would jump down and then it would jump back up. So that can definitely, you know, one large price home can skew the numbers a bit. Anyone else have any thoughts? Can you drive and go see some buyers? Uh, actually, I just am getting out of a meeting with the guy that Dan knows that, that we mutually know. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, Troy's his name. He was a really good dude. Um, 
Um, but no, sorry. Uh, to your to your point, yeah, things are still crazy over over on my end, uh, specifically with blisters. Still wanting to have these COVID prices, which is insane to me. But that's uh, yeah, that's what's been going on with me. It's interesting because I, you know, since last fall, have been talking my sellers right out of those COVID numbers and I'm still trying to get them down off those COVID numbers but you know, we are seeing pockets of homes go for higher and we're seeing that multiple offers so that's super interesting um, you know that things are still going really fast I set up a showing for tonight a house got listed yesterday and I got a text this morning that there's multiple offers and we're like, okay, we haven't seen it yet. This is where we're at again. And so that in my, in my buyers, my who have to sell also, they're taking that and they're like, okay, you know, and it's just about being in the right location and being priced right. And so loving these numbers. Um, it's interesting though. It's a different conversation than the, we were having, than I was having in the fall at least. The, the two things I know is number one, the number of agents has gone up, even though we said that they were going to come down, people were going to get out, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. um, you know, which, it, it, it kind of, an, it, it's an is. I mean, there are X number of agents out there, there are X number of people knocking on doors. It is what it is. I mean, so, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, the other comment that I make, the same situation. Um, uh, I was out of the country last week or a week ago. Sue helped me out with a, a client, multiple offers. And they said, we're just, we're not getting in a bidding war. We're not getting in a bidding war. And and these poor people have been looking for a year. He's on to yeah. buying land right now because he thinks buying land is going to be his answer to his world's problems. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> um, other than that, yeah, then, uh, you know, it's inter it also interesting to see, um, good to see number of listings going up. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll see what happens with the inventory. Yeah, it's very interesting. I was at the cultural summit um, last week. Sorry, Deanna, what were you going to say? So with the agents going up, the question is, are these full-time agents or part-time agents, right? Because yeah. what I'm running into as far as some of my business, this, I'm running into a lot of part-time agents, and unfortunately, they, they were not trained. I had to redo the sales agreement for them. So yeah, that's the question, is are they part-time? Because a lot of people look at real estate like it's a get-quick-rich, you know, and it's more than that, you know, mm -hmm. until you truly get into the business. Yeah, that is one thing I, I wish we could see that data. And the other is how many went out and how many were added, right? We can't see that granular data, but that would be, I'd be interested to know all that for sure. Um, but to the to the listings at the cultural summit, I was talking to a guy and, and he was like, yeah, I mean, for my buyers, like we just get tired of going in multiple offers. And so what does that tell us, right? We just need to go get more listings, you know, and we all know that is true. Um, and my second point to that is um, even the people that we, in our minds, we talked about this in the bullet class too, we um, take some people out of our minds, right? We're, oh, we're not going to talk. We're not going to bring those people up. They just bought a year ago or they bought in the 2%. They're not going to sell right now. How untrue that is, is I was talking to somebody because of a bold exercise that we did who bought two years ago, they bought in the 2% interest rate, um, but life circumstances have changed for them so much that they now are selling and they need to buy again. And it's just having that conversation around what interest rates are going to do, some creative financing, some, you know, the two, one buy down, uh, maybe a, a gap loan so that they don't have to sell in order to buy in the equity in their home, right? They're selling the same market that they're buying in and they bought their home for 260. Um, and we can sell it for more than that now. So, you know, it's just, we need to go out there and get those listings so that our buyers have host houses to buy. <laughs> Any other thoughts on these numbers or what's going on? Hey, yeah, Anybody we have, have a crystal ball on interest rates? Anybody hearing anything about interest rates going up, down, sideways? 
we're definitely going to see one more. That's just from a guy that I talked to that has his finger on the pulse of that a lot more than I do. Uh, he's like, yeah, yeah, I know for certain that we're going to see it, well, at least one more increase in interest rates. I don't know if anybody had any contradictory information. No, I was going to say the same. I don't know the specific, you know, how many increases, but until we see inflation come down, they're going to keep raising the interest rates. Until the spending slows down, they're going to keep raising it. The spending hasn't slowed. It hasn't deterred anyone. Uh, so inflation would... rate in Argentina is 200%. So think about that one. <laughs> Thank you for putting that into perspective. <laughs> this high. What were you going to say, Jordan? Was that you? Yeah, I had a quick question in regards to uh, inventory um, of how to analyze and interpret this data. Mm -hmm. um, so when someone is asking how many months of inventory we have, what is the direct correlation or the number figure um, that's in correlation to that? Is that days on market? Yep. So that'd be like a month and a half of inventory? Yes. Okay, thank Does you. Does anyone have any better information on that? There's another cooler way you can figure that out, but um, like the rough, quick and dirty of it is, yep, we've got average days on market is 52. So that's about our inventory. And which a seller's market, right? Does anyone, does everyone know this? A seller's market is six months or less on market. Um, a balanced market is six months of inventory and a buyer's market is more than six months. So imagine these sellers who have been watching the COVID market and tell them that five, market, five months on market is still a seller's market. They would have a heart attack. Anyone else? You know, but if you're talking to a listing, a potential listing, you know, yes, our average days on market is 52. Um, it is a little bit higher since we've been tracking this number since August, the status since August. Um, you know, but our total active new listings is down 400 and it's down from what, you know, we would expect to see in a spring market. Um, you know, we had more closing new, we had more pendings in the last seven days than we had new listings added. So that balance is unequal. So there still is that demand. Any other thoughts, comments, concerns, questions? All right, y'all, we'll have a great week and let's go out there and get some listings. <laughs> Thanks, Sally. See y'all later. All right, thank you. Bye.